I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube station. Um, this is the home of the four minute or less video. Today I'm going to talk to you today about why only one out of five people who apply for tax debt forgiveness get tax debt forgiveness. I'm a former IRS agent. I used to accept offers and deny offers and compromise. My signature either changed the lives of people or kind of was a buzzkill for them. I know the offer and compromise, the tax debt forgiveness very well. I am a national expert in this. I have a whole team of former IRS agents, CPAs, and tax attorneys on my staff. I've been on the national news many, many times, and you can see my videos at 777irs.com. So why is, why is it that one out of five people get their offers and compromise for tax debt forgiveness accepted, and why do 80% go, go south? Because simply people do not know the standard and people do not know the program and they don't know anything about this. They, they go with these companies, they file offers and compromise, and the company doesn't know what they're doing. I've had this week three calls where people put in for an offer and compromise. I review their financial statements. They were never eligible for the offer and compromise, ever offer and compromise to start with. You can't believe these ads that are out there and make a knee-jerk reaction that this advertising and marketing is going to go ahead and call this company and then get you an offer because they say so. It's ridiculous. You must understand the program and you must get on, you must know what they're doing. IRS is looking at two things. They're looking at your assets and they're looking at the national standard program on your case. Let me explain what this is so you don't get ripped off. Hey, IRS wants to know what the sum total of your assets are. That's rule number one. Rule two, they want to know what you have left over after IRS applies the national standards program. When they go ahead and do that, then they add those two numbers together and boom, there's your offer. Nobody knows, nobody knows what they're doing in this space except true people who work the offer and compromise all the time. You have... By the way, this, the, there's been so many people ripped off by this. IRS created their own uh, IRS, uh, IRS um, uh, on, at irs.gov. They have the offer and compromise, uh, the pre-qualifier -pre tool, so taxpayers can know if they're eligible or not. If you want to be eligible for an offer, you have to call somebody who knows what they're doing and stop believing the ads. As a former revenue officer accepting offers, it bothers me. It bothers me when people call me all the time and I see the case and I say, what did you, I says, ask for your money back because you just got ripped off. These companies Companies do it over and over and over and over. Don't let that happen to you. Just don't. Call whoever you want. But you have to call an attorney, a CPA, or an enrolled agent. Why? Those are the only people. Those are the only people who can represent you in front of IRS. If not, you're talking to a salesman. And chances are real good you're going to be ripped off. Anyway, if you want me to look at your financial statement and want us to represent you, that's fine. I'm happy to do this. We have worked thousands of cases. Peter Salinger at my office has worked over a, uh, probably between 3,000 and 3,500. It's hard to count when you do years of this. Anyway, give me a subscription if you would. You just heard the truth. I'm happy to consult with you, do whatever. Just don't get ripped off. Thank you for the subscription.